All right, this next lesson, I could spend weeks if not months just teaching these uh, four things. And it's called thoughts, feelings, actions, results. So obviously we've kind of talked on filters already in terms of how our brain processes information. We talked about the subconscious mind and unconscious mind. We talked about a whole variety of different you know, topics that will lead directly into this lesson of understanding how we get results. So if you're looking for a different result and you wanna grow and you wanna become better, this diagram here, this, this lesson here, is exactly the key to the vault when it comes to you know, getting that different result. So our mind works in this fashion, where what we focus on and pay attention to consciously shapes our end results through this model. For example, and this is a funny example, um, let me just give it to you the way it is and try not to paint a, a picture too vividly in your mind. But anyways, your parents you know, had a thought, they had some feeling, they took some action, and you're the result. That's how life works. So when you look at your own life, you know, think about it. Think about your results right now. Are you happy with the results you're getting? Are you dissatisfied with the results you're getting? It all comes down to this formula, right? It's even given in the book entitled Think and Grow Rich. The, the whole premise is given in the name of the actual book. It's the thinking that counts. But it's not just the thinking. The most important thing that, you know, when the thought comes in is actually the subconscious mind in terms of the feeling associated with that thought. Because I meet people all the time who say, I always think positive, but my life, you know, is not where I want it to be. Well, you could think positive and, and like have the thoughts, but if you're not emotionally attached to it, you don't have that feeling associated with that thought, you're not going to take the right action and you're not going to get the right result. Now think about your life when you were losing, because you have wins and you have losses in your life at this point in time. Right? Think about the times when you were winning. I guarantee you had positive thoughts, you were focusing on what you wanted, you were feeling excited about it and emotionally attached to that feeling, it caused your body to go into take action and then a result came. Right? Think about the opposite, when you weren't having the best results. You probably had negative thoughts, you felt bad about yourself, you didn't take much action and you didn't get a result. You know, I can relate this to the fitness industry when I used to train people. In the beginning, they were excited about their goal. They, they thought, you know, I wanna, I wanna get in shape. They had a feeling behind it. They started taking action and then they either got the result or didn't. Those who got the result kept thinking that they were gonna get there. They had a great mindset around, you know what, if I just stay consistent and I follow the guidance and structure that I've laid out for them, they believed and they felt, you know, the, the effects that if they continued down this path, they were gonna get there and they always did. The people who were you know, negative and hated doing it and hated being there and just kept having that negative thought, eventually they stopped showing up and eventually they quit and guess what? They didn't get the result they wanted. So whatever area of your life that you're trying to improve on or grow, go back to this diagram and really take the time out of your day and think about it. You know, what am I feeling right now? I think that is one of the best um, guidance mechanisms that our body has ever created is our emotions pretty much tell us if we're on the right track. So pay attention to your feelings. You know, feelings are our guiding system. Since our feelings are run through the subconscious mind, they really shape our reality. That's why it's so vitally important to pay attention to how we feel. You know, if you look at um, changing your state, which Tony Robbins really talks about a whole lot, you know, getting in a good vibration, what Bob talks about, and all these different people in the industry talk about, you know, changing your vibration, changing your state of energy, there's lots of things you can do. You could sing a song, you could dance, you could do something you enjoy, you could, you know, do what the movie Happy Gilmore had done, which is, you know, think of that happy place. Whatever you gotta do to change the way you feel, whenever you're feeling down, I would do that activity um, immediately. You know, take time out of your day, every day, to make sure that your feelings are in the right state, right? So what you focus on constantly grows. For example, have you ever had a bad day or a bad start to a day, and by the end of the day, you notice everything has been going horribly wrong? You know, I can attest to this. You know, I've had a, I show up to work, maybe I was late, you know, maybe something didn't go as planned, I started feeling really bad about it, and then I kept getting more and more and more of that showing up in my life, right? It's a result because I'm focusing on that. Where if I focus on the positive things, I'm gonna see it more often. I'm gonna, you know, be involved with a lot more great experiences. So feelings is something that we must pay attention to, as well as what we're thinking about. Now there are many ways to change your feelings, and you can start by doing something that changes your state to allow you to focus on the good things that make you feel great. You know, I just talked about this. It's, it's really that simple. So what I've been doing right now that's made a huge difference in terms of my results, in terms of what I think about and how I feel, is I always go back to my goal. 
I think you, if you don't have a goal, you really are not going in the direction that you want to go. You have to have goals. You have to aspire. You have to grow um, to, to really move along on this planet while you're here. So when I'm feeling bad, I always like to bring my goal into present tense. You know, when you're writing your goals, we're going to talk about goals in a little bit. When you're writing your goals, you want to act as if the goals already happened for you. Right? Imagine right now if you closed your eyes and you took a moment and you thought about the goal that you've set. And imagine tomorrow morning you're waking up and it's Christmas morning and that thing was being delivered to you. How would you feel right now? That's the feeling you must have all the time. Now it's, it's, it's simple, but it's also difficult because our mind tends to focus on a negative so quickly. You know, with media and everything that we're consuming, we, we're, we're bombarded with negativity, whether it be in our environments, our workplace, the media. I don't know where you are in your life right now, but you know, I used to be involved in that kind of stuff. So it takes a lot of practice. But every time you catch yourself, remind yourself of closing your eyes and picturing that goal very vividly. You know, what's it smell like, taste, all the senses around you achieving that goal. What are you doing when you achieve that goal? And hold on to that image as often as possible. And that's going to change the way you feel. And I guarantee you, if you do that and obviously take action, things are going to start lining up for you in the right direction. So I'm going to go into the next lesson and really talk about something that I incorporate every morning. And it's made a tremendous difference to how I start my day.